What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how Kanye was able to stir up a whole lot of controversy all because of a white t-shirt. Yep, you heard that and you saw that correctly, all because of a white t-shirt. Now today's video takes us back 10 years just after the release of Kanye West's controversial album Yeezus, and if you want to know just how controversial that merch was, I already made a video on it, so I'll go ahead and have that video in the description. Now, before Kanye was trusted to be the creative director for major brands like Adidas, he started off with the collection with the French ready-to-wear brand APC, thanks to the creator, John Tutu. As you can see, 10 years ago, fashion was definitely different, but here's Kanye wearing some pieces from his own APC collection. And although on the surface level some of these pieces might not be the most aesthetically pleasing, you might be wondering just why this collection was so damn controversial. Well, if you take a look in the middle of the screen there, you're going to be seeing two specific pieces, a white t-shirt next to a black t-shirt. Now, taking us back 10 years to 2013, things were a whole lot different. So imagine yourself 538 weeks ago when you have the opportunity to cop one of Kanye's first collaborations that he designed. And if you're like me, you're a freshman in college and you don't exactly have $120 for the retail for a t-shirt. Now to give you an idea what that cost was 10 years ago, that'd be about $158 for an actual tee. Now there are some more expensive items on this collection, such as some jeans that cost $265 or $350 for today's standards. And just to give you guys an idea of how expensive the rest of this collection was, if you wanted to get your hands on an APC Kanye hoodie, it was going to run you about $280 or over $300 for a damn hoodie all the way back in 2013. Now, despite me being a big fan, I definitely didn't have the bread back then to go ahead and pick it up. Now, as for the most controversial piece from this collection, it had to be this 100% Egyptian cotton white t-shirt. A lot of people were not happy that Kanye and APC were charging $120 or $160 today for a damn white t-shirt. You'll see later in this video people's thoughts on this 10 years ago, and a lot of people had a lot of negative things to say about Kanye and this collaboration. Now, despite the negativity and the negative press, I also did want to point out the fact that it did sell out in mere minutes. And although the white t-shirt did get a lot of hate, it also did restock a couple of times, which I think is pretty crazy given the fact that people were hating on it and therefore buying it even more. Now, there were some memes that were going around, such as this one right here, which features Kanye, of course, making that sweet, sweet money off of these white t-shirts. And of course, I wanted to feature some hater comments from Twitter. Now, as for the collection itself, I wanted to see if pieces are still available and floating around online today, and I wanted to go on Grailed, which typically has some authentic and reliable pieces. The first thing that catches my eye about a lot of these pieces, though, is the fact that these are apparently in new condition, with a price to me that just seems too good to be true. I mean, talking about it out loud, this is advertised as something that is brand new and in new condition with tags, and allegedly they're charging less than the price that it originally came out for. In my head, you would think, given that these are super rare pieces, that you'd be able to at least double, if not triple these, if you were really trying to get rid of them. Despite the question about their authenticity, what I did want to show you guys is an example of what these probably did look like for retail, and what the legit pair probably did look like. Obviously, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to the collaboration, but there are some cool features, as you can see, that feature Kanye's name, and of course, the fact that it is a collaboration with the brand APC. Now, while I was searching through the rest of this for some hopefully authentic pieces, something kind of interesting caught my eye here. This piece is a little bit more expensive, and yes, this person is actually advertising this as pre-owned, and allegedly owned or pre-owned by Kanye West himself. They mentioned that Kanye actually wore this jacket and it's actually part of the APC collaboration, so I figured this would be something interesting to take a look at together. And the reason why I approach a lot of posts like this with skepticism is because I've actually known people in real life that have gotten away with selling bootleg Balenciaga, and other allegedly vintage-designed t-shirts on brands like Grailed. 
Now, obviously, I don't condone what they did, but the fact that they were able to get away with it is obviously super sketchy. So obviously, buyer beware when it comes to these situations. Now, personally, if Kanye did wear this, I, d I think the price would be justified. However, I'm unsure of the authenticity. Now, one thing I did think that was interesting is that the seller is named Champagne Poppy. So if that's Drake, that definitely makes sense. Now, you might be wondering why we're also taking a look at gallery department here. But the point I wanted to make is that nowadays, big brands like this that rappers wear, Retail on these pieces is 250 up to 350 or more for some t-shirts, and that seems about normal. So think about the backlash that Kanye was getting for an all-white t-shirt with nothing else on it 10 years ago. Now when it comes to Kanye controversies, I would say that this one is pretty low on the list, all things considered throughout his career, but I thought that this would be a dope video for anybody that wasn't around the streetwear era a whole decade ago, or just a Kanye fan in general. Now, Kanye's obviously done and said some crazy things, but his influence on the culture is definitely still felt today, and he's apparently got a new album in the works, which obviously means some new merch is coming up as well, and of course, your boy's gonna have to cook up an episode on that one. Now, all things considered, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you guys thought about this one. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this type of content, and go ahead and stay safe out there. As always, guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. It's lit. Straight up and peace.